Starting off with some breaking news after decades behind bars, a man who says he was tortured into confessing to a murder he didn't commit will soon be free. Gerald Reed's sentence has been commuted now to time served. And WGN's Rob Sneed is live tonight with more. Rob. Reed has been in prison for 30 years. His supporters today protested as early as this morning to get him out. They say that they are happy on this day. Their hard work has paid off. Reed has been incarcerated for 30 long years of his life. And this is still not justice for Mr. Reed. What people fail to realize is that John Burge and his detectives, they tortured confessions out of people. Some of those same detectives are deemed so credible where that they are testifying against men and women to keep them in prison. Gerald Reed's case started in October of 1990. He says he was brought into custody by two detectives, Michael Kill and Victor Bresca, tortured him into confessing into a double homicide he did not commit. Both detectives worked under John Burge. Uh, did you participate in the electric shock uh, and threatening with the gun and, 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 and using racial epithets. This is the disgraced former police commander being questioned in court for his tactics in obtaining convictions in the 1970s and 1980s from black and brown people. Burge was fired from the department in 1993 but allowed to keep his pension. In 2010, he was convicted in federal court for lying under oath about police torture and sentenced to four and a half years in prison. He died in 2018. That's the same year a judge granted Reed a new trial but retired before Reed could have his day in court. A new judge assigned to the case said Reed wasn't entitled to the new trial. Protesters today demanded Cook County Special Prosecutor Robert Millen be stripped from Reed's case and all other related cases to Burge. And I'm also told that Reed is expected to get out of prison within the next few days and he will fight to get his record cleared. Reporting live in downtown Chicago, Rob Sneed. WGN News.